welcome back to my channel and on today's episode of 30 minute meals with who else moi we're making chicken veggie pizza yes you heard that right chicken veggie pizza that's a lot to say try to say that five times fast anyways this is a semi healthy meal. Have you ever had the uh, veggie pizza where it's got like the cream cheese and the ranch and you put your veggies on top and you put it all on top of like crescent roll? That's what I'm making but I'm adding chicken to it, okay? I am super excited because it's so easy and I'm like about easy right now especially since Paul is going to be gone for two more weeks. I don't want to completely outdo myself because he's not home to enjoy it so I'm gonna make stuff that I like because he, I mean, he would like this, but he's really not a chicken type of guy, you know what I'm saying? So it's all like red meat and potatoes for him. So I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need, but first let me say that this amount, this amount that I'm making is gonna feed my family's needs. So whatever you need to add or take away to feed your family's needs, please do that. So my, how much I'm making is gonna feed about four people, okay? So I have me, my father-in-law, and my two kids, which we all know my kids aren't gonna eat a full helping of this. Why? Because they're kids and they picky as hell. My chicken may or may not blow up while I'm talking. It's currently cooking. Guess we'll see. Okay, back to what I was saying. So you're gonna need, which I'm only using one, but use as much as you'd like. I'm using one chicken breast. Um, you need, I am using two rolls of the crescent rolls. You can use as many as you need to make your pizza as big as you'd like. Um, I have one of each color of bell pepper, so red, orange, green, and yellow, and you're just gonna dice that up rough chop. Um, I have a head of cauliflower, a head of broccoli, I have one block of cream cheese and I have ranch dressing. Now, if I would have not been scatterbrained through the store, I would have bought the uh, powder ranch, like, you know, the packets, but I had both my kids with me and we both know that's a disaster. And what's nice about this recipe is you can put whatever you want on this, any kind of vegetable. Um, if my husband was home, I'd be putting banana peppers on it and jalapenos all the hot shit, okay? That's what he likes. Now, I like stuff more subtle. I like to be able to taste and enjoy my food without crying. And I will add this, if um, I didn't also have to feed my father-in-law, I wouldn't be putting chicken on this. But because he's a man, he requires protein, or it's not a real dinner or whatever, so protein, okay? I mean, I can't win. So, if it was just me and the kids, heck the chicken, okay? I'm just gonna put the veggies and the cream cheese on it, but Anyways, it's still going to be good. Oh yeah, before I forget, if you don't currently have me on my Officially Momming You Facebook page, you need to go add that and like it and follow it because I have been trying to make it a, oh, what am I, what is the word I'm looking for? A priority. That's what I was looking for. I am trying to make my Facebook page and my YouTube page a priority to post on, right? So I've been posting almost every day on the Facebook page, right? And I've been doing these kids drinks, which have been like a hot commodity, believe it or not. Last week, I posted a Shark Attack drink for kids, right? It was super cool, super fun. It had like 60 shares and it's got like 1,500 views or 1,800 views so far. Um, so today I made a Dory, a Finding Dory inspired drink for kids, right? So cool, so good. So if you're curious what this tastes like and how to make it and why it's in a bucket, um, go to my Facebook page and follow it and like it and you will find out. Okay, so first things first, I have my beautiful pizza stone. Um, it looked way better um, before I actually started using it all the time. But this is what I like to bake stuff on because it doesn't stick, it's seasoned, Cooks evenly, I freaking love it. If you want one, Pampered Chef has them. This is Pampered Chef. Um, or there's probably an off brand, I don't know. But this one's really good. So we're gonna roll our fancy dancy crescent rolls out onto this for the crust. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, 
super easy took me like two minutes to do this just make sure that you get all your like when you open this up it's gonna have like little cracks and stuff like where you you know, are supposed to tear apart and roll just pinch those together and just flatten it out no need to be perfect I just want to say like how freaking nice it was to not make that Joe homemade like if you know me personally, like I make everything homemade and I don't know why I feel like I have to do that, but it was really nice just to buy stuff where I just have to throw it together. I freaking love that feeling. Like it's a huge weight off my shoulders. I don't know why I do that to myself, but you know, homemade is best. But sometimes we just need to take it easy and just go with the flow. I got all that deliciousness cut up, looking good, looking all smexy over there, ready for me to eat it. Um, I was gonna do onion, but then I thought, well, I haven't cried today and I'm not gonna start. <laughs> okay, so now we have to make our cream cheese sauce. So I have a block of cream cheese that I'm gonna heat in the microwave to soften it up. And then I'm gonna do uh, maybe like half a cup of ranch. Yeah. And then I'm gonna also put like onion powder, some salt and pepper, maybe some garlic powder. I'm gonna really spice it up. You know, you can spice it up however you like, but I'm gonna do it that way. I just wanna say I have so many good meals planned for this week to put up on my channel. I'm so heckin' excited. Um, ah, I just dropped that. Like I said, I didn't wanna get too crazy since Paul's not home. I wanna save the really good stuff for him, but I'm gonna make stuff that I like that he wouldn't necessarily care for. So lots of good stuff. Um, also, we'll be posting other stuff on my Facebook page. Stuff that's more simpler, doesn't need a whole long video to show it. Like, I'm making homemade Pop-Tarts this week. I'm so excited. I actually might make those tomorrow morning. Um, homemade strawberry Pop-Tarts. So like I said, make sure you guys go in the description. And down in the description is my Facebook page link. Go make sure you follow and like that page, please. Okay, so I've got my cream cheese, my ranch, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper in here. Um, you know, you could really add whatever you like. Like, you could make it like kind of like a buffalo chicken veggie pizza. You could add some buffalo sauce, hot sauce. I'm just kind of keeping it original here. I'll save the weird shit for when Paul's home. Now even what would have been really good to add to this is some mozzarella cheese, which I was going to until I didn't buy some at the store. So I'm just working with what I got here and that's um, ranch and uh, cream cheese. This literally tastes like veggie dip. Like I could just eat this with veggies. That's good. Are you ready? This bad boy's going in the oven for about mm, 15 minutes. That should be plenty. Yeah. I just followed the degrees that the um, Crescent Rolls call for, which is 350 for like 12 to 14 minutes. So we're going to do 15 minutes. I'm so excited. I did just the right amount of chicken. Like I think if I would have done two chicken breasts, it would have been way too much because that bad boy was big enough as it was. So I'm so excited for it. Ooh, you know what? I should have put bacon on it. Oh. God, yeah, that would have been good. Mm. <laughs> I'm really digging this little little pail here. It's actually a really good drink. Ooh, drink that I made. Mm -hmm. It is done, guys. Okay, I cooked it for about like 20 minutes because I want to make sure like the edges were like, you know, golden and crispy. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah, could use more cheese of course, but it's good. I absolutely love 30 minute meals. I love not having to slave over a hot stove for like two hours. And it's easy, simple, anybody can do it. Now like I said, you can make this recipe yours as much or as less. Add what you want, 
take away what you want. It's good and it's easy. Another one down in the books for Marky. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and make sure you guys read the description because I do have some links in there for you guys especially. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. And like I said, I have more recipes for this week I'm super excited to do because your girl loves food, okay? So make sure you leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't and keep a watch for my next video. And like I said previously in my video, uh, if you guys don't have me on my Facebook page, make sure you like and follow my page so you get more um, personal stuff on there, shortened versions, right? So anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my pizza. I gotta wrangle my kids up. And I will chat at you guys later. Thanks for watching.